Hello from IMTS 2018. We are visiting the Creative Motion Control booth, joining Chuck Gillum and here to learn more about a new line of roller screw actuators. Chuck, give us a little bit of information about how these are different from what is out there in the marketplace. Well, we've been making planetary roller screws for a long time. I think probably the, the key thing that's different about us uh, is our bearing. We've patented uh, a bearing that is essentially a zero lead roller screw and it gives us the compactness and the force of a roller screw in a bearing. So for instance, this bearing in a angular contact bearing set would be this size. So you, you can see how much space we can save with this technology in our roller screw. Excellent. And I understand that these are also lubricated for life. The actuator line, the CPD line is oil filled. So lubrication is, is a critical issue in roller screws. They go really fast and really high loads. So heat is an issue. And so when we created our actuator line, we made sure to deal with that lubrication issue the best way we could. And that is to oil lubricate. And we've completely filled them with oil so they can be oriented in any direction. So you never have to touch them. There's no maintenance on them. What are some target applications for these roller screw actuators? It ranges from custom machine tools to automation programs. A lot of these are used in the lines in the auto industry, robotic end effects. So anywhere there's high force in a small package or really repetitive uh, operations that need to last a long time. For instance, you know, compared to a, a ball screw actuator, we've got two to three, four times the load capacity, which gives us eight or 10 times the life in that same package. Awesome. And where can our viewers get more information about these? It's all on the website, www.creativemotioncontrol.com. Oh, well, thanks, Chuck. And for more information from Design World, visit designworldonline.com or linearmotiontips.com. Thanks for watching.